Hello. In this tutorial video, we will be discussing bundles, how to create them inside multi-orders and why they're useful for your business. So first of all, what is a bundle? It's a package deal made of different components from your inventory. Let's take a look at one example. If you click right here inside inventory and bundles, you will see all of your bundled item and in the tag section, the little B will indicate that this is a bundled item. So if I open it up, product and also the components that create this product. In this case, I have a cup, a cap and pants. And at the moment, uh, maximum I can sell nine outfits because I only have nine pants left. If the pants would drop to zero, then the bundle would be out of stock. Now, at the very beginning, let's edit the bundle and I will just unbundle this item so that we can create it from scratch so you can see how that process works. Right now, I don't have any more bundled items. So let's go to my inventory. Let's find that product that we just unbundled outfit. By the way, this product will be automatically downloaded from your shop and then inside it you will have to bundle it by adding the components so let's open this item right now it's a simple item without any components inside and we want that the quantity would drop down for the components as well when i sell this particular product so I find a bundle button on the top right corner, and then I need to find the products that go inside the package. So first of all, let's find the pants, pants, XXL white, and add them as one of the components. And also from the picture, we were able to see that there is cap. So let's find the cap. Yeah, here it is. Just add it inside. Right now, as you can see, because I have only 45 pants, my available bundles is 45. But I can also increase the count, how many of this particular product goes inside this bundle. Sometimes it can be more than one. Let's say there are three pants in the bundle and three caps, like three outfits. And right now, my maximum available stock is 15 because 4 to 5 divided by 3 is 15. So, simple math. But let's create it with one stock. I click bundle. It takes just a few seconds and my bundle is created. If I go into the inventory, click on bundled items, I will see this outfit and inside I will see the components. This time I just added two. Previously it had three. But I believe you understand how to create a bundle right now. Now, a couple of rules to remember regarding bundles. As you can see, this bundled item has two components. Inside multi-orders, there is a maximum of 10 components possible per bundled item. So do not have more than 10 components in one bundle. That can cause some problems. Again, now, if we're taking separate products, let's say this pants white is a separate product. This product can be a part of maximum 10 bundles. If you have more outfits like 50, then these pair of pants cannot be a part of 50 bundles. The maximum is 10. So another thing to know about bundles, as you can see right now, I can change the stock levels of my products just by clicking on the button and just changing the stock right here. Simple as that. Now, how that works with a bundled item is a little bit different. If I go back to my inventory and click on bundled items, right now I see that I have my outfit. I will open it up. So inside the bundle, you can clearly see the components, but you cannot change the stock level of the bundle itself. It, the system won't allow it because that wouldn't make sense because you have to adjust the stock levels of your components 
to increase the stock level of your bundle. So you can easily just open pants and cap. As you can see, I just opened two new windows. Inside, I can see my pants and I can just increase the stock level of the pants, let's say to 80. And if I go back and just simply refresh the page, you will see that my bundled stock increased because right now I have 95 pants. So this is how you increase the bundled stock level. Not increase it for the bundle, increase it for the components and the bundle will be calculated automatically. And the last thing to discuss is how to unbundle the item. As you saw previously, I just clicked on edit bundle and I can just delete the components one by one and that will unbundle the item or inside the inventory. If I go to my bundled item, I can just check mark it, see actions button and click unbundle. That will unbundle the item also. So you can choose which way is more comfortable for you. Always remember that on the top right corner, we have this little question mark, which you can click and you will be redirected directly to our uh, Q&A section about integrations, orders, inventory, etc. Here you will find tutorial guides how to correctly integrate any of your sales channels as well. And as I said previously, if you have any questions, just write directly to our live chat or give us a call and we will help you with the process of the integration. I hope this video was useful and as always, have a nice day.